So Ninjutsu Sora, we'll take a look at it, give my opinions, maybe compare against some of the mice, and then we'll take it apart in a teardown, and then we'll do a weight mod so we can get it to. First thing I noticed is the better side button than the original Ninjutsu um, Katana, but it's still got some pre-travel, like quite a lot pre-travel on that. So I'm have to mod that. So on the front, front side button, main's not too bad. That whistle down there. A bit better on the mains. It feels a little bit weaker on the sides, but it's 40 grams, 47 grams this one's weighing up. So you get a little bit of flex if I like really press it, but I think you'll find it pretty solid to be fair. It's not going to wear, it's got to be the Hulk grip. So they reckon 45 plus two, given the range, this is a nice 47. Um, we've got the split skates, which are rounded, but they have, um, they have given us an option to add larger skates to get the cut out in the base, both front and rear if you need to put the longer ones on. Still wish people had just put an entirely smooth base. I don't know why we still get these skate line mission skate like um ridges. It says 2.4. Is that the dongle? Well, I can't say that's a dongle spot because I'm sure I tried it and it wouldn't fit. It's like the tiniest gap. Thank God we are going back with USB-C. There's only two companies that are using Micro Logitech is one of them and Final Mouse. Some people are now finally using USB-C, which makes cables a lot easier. <laughs> so you got a Jitsu USB dongle thing. You got the rubber, you got your other dongle inside it, but that's a bigger dongle. You've got a ton like I have, it's easy to find which one it is because they've branded it. I don't see how it goes in there. Oh, take it back. I was going to try that out. <laughs> oh dear, I have to uh, pretend I never said that. There you go. It is V dongle. Got a bit of a rattle though. Maybe I was drunk when I tried it last time. It was Friday. So, coating wise, three people are asking the coating. You can kind of see it here. It's not as slippy as Logitech, but I think it feels a bit plasticky. It's not, I don't know. It's not the best coating, I don't think. The new coating on the XM, XM2WE is a better, I would say. It's nicer. The coating on a Pulsar. Probably a little bit slippier than that as well. Pulsar's not the best. Uh, the old slippy seal, I mean, it's definitely better than the G-Pro Superlight. Unbelievably a little slippy. Oops, a Vaxi. I've got a Vaxi wireless coming now. I say same gripness, but that's smoother coating on the Vaxi. We've got M800. Probably slightly better, but it's got rubber, so don't really count, I guess. Hmm. The death adder feels rougher. Probably got slightly more grip on the Sora than the death adder as well. M712, oh sorry, yeah, M712. And these feel similar, maybe, no. It's a bit smooth on the Sora. But for me, offering similar grip level, I would say. So a bit like G Pro. G305, a bit battered. Smoother than the 305. Similar grip level. Overall, I quite like the shape of it. It's coating, like I say, could be slightly better, but it's not it's not the worst by any means. So it's probably mid. It's decent. My only first complaint, I didn't like the ones in the katana, so I'm sorry. But the there's quite a bit of pre-travel on the sides. They're not bad. 
And some people, in fairness, might not want it to be too sensitive. So sometimes like on the, the ones I mod, where I take it away, sometimes people are a little bit sensitive because the fingers are on the buttons. And that sometimes triggers it. I kind of hold it there and kind of rock my finger like that. If you guys do that. That's why I trigger my side buttons. Um, but in another, in another point, the side buttons are actually pretty nice position. They're nice and forward. So in my 18 by 9 I think the side buttons for me are absolutely spot on there, I would say. So I get with a few travels, livable. Could be a little bit tighter. But the mains are pretty good. There's not much uh, free travel now. The only thing you might see is because they've got quite a bit of gape on the front. Um, you can get some post. You just put quite a bit of pressure on, but you can get post. There's the switch. And then, but that'd be the only other major thing. That right one's not bad, to be fair. Oops. But if you're a bit aggressive, I won't hit that. But if you're a little bit aggressive, you will potentially. So 90 by hand, it fits quite nice in my hand. I'm probably going to slightly palm claw it. Very relaxed claw, but my. To my nose, not bad. I use a one, two, two grip. It's not bad then. Nice wide buttons. Nice to have some comfort grooves. Not really any other thing. But overall, decent USB C. Quality's good, there's no rattles. Even if you're aggressive with it, it feels pretty good quality. So you get a little bit of flex inside if you like really crush it, so I wouldn't even care. Decent for 47, and the credit to me, they've got it all sealed up for 47 as well. Not a hole in sight. That will definitely um, be something people want to see because no one likes a holy mouse. Um, what we got? We've also got an LED on the top for your profile. Charge ports on the front, unlike the uh, Extra Fight M8, which is a bit on the sides, a bit, bit ropey. Um, she's in the 3389 sensor as well. Dimension. I'll take it with the profile button uh, out, not pressed in. That's with the profile button in. See a lot of mice around 38 to 40 at the minute. I mean, I see some maybe higher ones, slightly more of an aggressive hump, but no one seems to do that. We seem to keep it very safe on the hump side. Quite a low front there, I just realised. Twenty seven mil, pretty thick buttons, nice, not bad. It's like an eight mil. Ooh, close seven. Now these are a bit small, the other thing I'd say is they need slightly larger side buttons. They are pretty tiny. Let's give you an example. Most people think they're G Pro, about the same size as the G Pro, hope so. And the Pulsars, which are probably a little bit smaller, but not much. Like people like this, I, I do, and most people like a bit of a fatter uh, side button, but I guess trying to keep the weight down. The other thing is it's got quite a small, um, a small side bit, so if you're making too big, you perhaps can't get your thumb in there. So maybe that's part of the reason why they're a bit small. My thumb's not massive. Pretty simple, we've got a DPI button, on and off button, nice and tidy. And that's it, pretty much. Overall, I think it's pretty decent. Pretty off just solid mouse. No holes in it, lightweight, good shape, a little bit of flared booty. But not a flared front, which I don't like as well. Sounds good. Maybe the switch is a little bit heavy. But other than that, it's a solid contender for show.